principio. Hey gang, Sean Shrimp Aquatics here. Did a video a long time ago, probably two years ago now. Name of it, I believe, is Hydra the Fry Killer. Okay. <clears throat> it has come to my attention that that video, while it was helpful, wasn't overly explained correctly. So, I'm here to remedy that problem. I will show you what I use, how I use it, and will introduce it into one of my tanks that does have a slight bit of Hydra in it. Hydra. Okay, this is what I use. Safeguard for, that's the chemical that you're looking for. Fenbendazolide. I, I have no idea. Completely foreign to me. It's a dog dewormer. I was able to get three two gram pouches from Petco using the whole curbside pickup for under 10 bucks. This being three individual two gram packets gives me. 60, six zero doses. Under 10 bucks, get 60 doses. That is fantastic. What you wanna do is open up one of these packets, get yourself 0 0.10 grams. You use 0 0.10 grams per 10 gallons. My suggestion is because these granules do not like to dissolve in water. Take whatever you're using water-wise. This is some RO water. I'm going to add this into there and then put into the microwave. I'm going to microwave the water for approximately 45 seconds. I may actually do it without the dewormer inside of it, just in case it spills or erupts in my microwave. I don't have a messy cleanup. Same concept. Get the water nice and hot. Once it's nice and hot, add the dewormer, put the lid on, shake vigorously all right so you can see right there some of the hydra that's in this particular tank i've taken that solution that we discussed earlier 0 0.10 grams of the safeguard 4 dog dewormer mixed it in with some boiling hot water the water is our old tank water Shook it vigorously, waited till the solution cooled down, and now I've added it to this tank. It's been in the tank for about 10 minutes. This is probably take 12 of me trying to do this video. And you can notice that the tentacles on the hydra itself have started to come in a bit which is indicating that this solution is starting to work already give it 24 to 48 hours and you should notice a high success rate of hydra die-off. If you still notice live hydra, do a 30% water change. If you still notice live hydra, once you refill the aquarium, do a second dose. 
I have not had a huge enough, I guess, infestation of Hydra to where it's taken more than two doses. And usually it's within 48 to 72 hours, somewhere in there, that I have a complete annihilation of Hydra inside of a tank. If you're doing this solution, it will work. Just have patience with it and give it that time. If you need a second dose, water change, dose it again, and it usually wipes it completely out at that point. From there, you don't have to worry about it because you haven't overdosed your aquarium with it. I cannot stress, take your time, do it one dose at a time. You will see the results that you're looking for. Just give it a chance to do what it's supposed to do.